But actually what happened two years ago, let's say 2005 and 2006, the actual people responsible for the money meme, we call them the international banksters or the IMF or the Federal Reserve chairman or whatever, uh, those people aren't really the issue. It's the environment and the afterimage of the fact that we once owned our own money systems. That meme and the people responsible for creating the virtual image of that meme, they said, my team actually said, we've got to put a stop to the inflationary effects of the digital economy on the money meme. So it got to the point where people in their own, the Fed rate turns over money. You know about the Fed rate? Um, banks in, in the Federal Reserve System, they have to uh, account for all the money they've dispensed during the day. If they fall short, another bank uh, supplements it, and then they get a little interest for helping the other bank. So you have this communication matrix among the banks. Uh, when this died in 2000, but then was re temporarily rebuilt through the, the housing new hardware economy, these banks within the digital acceleration could not cover the interest rates overnight. It gets up into the trillions. <laughs> so a couple of years ago, my team decided that we got to put a stop to this digital effect. So we said, okay, no more loaning and uh, profiting and offshore distribution of profits and, and therefore they're not taxed. The whole problem of not taxing this inflationary quadrillionaire economy, we put a stop to it a year ago. So this summer, the subprime mortgage crisis escalated to what's called the credit crunch. What is the journalist expression of what's going on? None of the banks in the United States will communicate with any other bank, i.e. loan them money or receive loans and call it profits. The hedge fund's reality has collapsed. Steven Schwartzman, in early February this year, 2007, had a birthday, I think it was his 60th birthday, celebrating himself being the richest man on Wall Street, the most successful. He had a big hedge fund victory legacy. Two weeks later, he announced that the hedge fund was going public, which violated the whole sense of what a hedge fund was. Right, right. And, and why did he do that two weeks? I think he even announced a bit of it at his uh, birthday party, but it shocked everybody. But the point is that he had heard that our team had put a stop to the whole virtual economy, and he knew. So what do you do? You pretend there's a public and give them the money and say, hey, come on in. You pretend there's somebody here to come into and to, be, to receive you. So Schwartzman is an example. As usual, if you make it big, you win an Oscar, you get on the cover of Time magazine, you make a big hit record, you're doomed. You're going to get nailed by the Andro meme in some way. That's why you should be a member of my little team called Unknowns Anonymous. Okay? <laughs> We show up, but we're only a blip for an hour. They never remember us, even though I've been on your show saying this stuff for seven years. <laughs> right. yeah, but I can show up, and one day the whole world will hear me, and yes. that'll be an important time. And then this comes into 2012, the big fantasy about what's going to happen in the Mayan prophecy. Well, I'm telling you people, 2012 is happening right now, 2007, 2008. And it's symbolized by this victory that my team is expressing. We are going to put this economy back into a realistic situation very difficult to do. Cold fusion will be part of it, but we, we know how to manage the four bodies in this situation.